the NFL in 2022. It's already showing before the season has even started. They're, do- they're barely doing training camps. It's showing that they are still a political mess. They are in a political homicide that they can't get out of. And who are they using? The Washington Comrades or Commanders. Okay, they changed their name from the Redskins to the Commanders or the Comrades. What are you doing? And now they're attacking the owner. Congress is involved. Literally, the U.S. Congress wants to uh, uh, ask questions. It's all a smokescreen. It's all a distraction, all right? And the the defensive coordinator, Jack Del Rio, who's been part of the NFL for many years, he's been a head coach. He's been a star player with the Houston Oilers. He has, I think he has kids in the game. He has family members in the game. He is like a part of the NFL, gets demonized because he calls J6, January 6th, nothing but a brush up, which what it was. I was there in film with six live feeds. It was nothing but a bunch of idiots running around taking selfies. I saw the Q Shamanan with the buffalo helmet. All right. I saw freaking Chewbacca. Okay. The Q Chewbacca. Get in there. He was let in by security. Look it up. It's very easy. The only person that got shot that day was Ashley Babbitt, who was a pro QAnon, whatever. I don't know the whole backstory to her, but she got shanked, right? Right in the neck. She got jabberwockied in the neck, okay? But with a real bullet, all right? And now rest in peace, okay? All the BS you've heard is meant to stir up a conspiracy, and now what's going on? Why are they doing this right now? Ask yourself right now, in June of 2022, why? Because they're trying to run this committee thing on primetime television, and it's falling apart. So what have they done? Use the NFL, another arm, another tentacle of the cabal's stretch, and they have used it. And I was watching today as they were at a practice at the Washington Commander's uh, facility, and they're asking one of the defensive players, hey, how do you feel about Jack Del Rio? Because Jack Del Rio said this was a nothing burger, but then they said they, they, they forced him to apologize. They made him pay $100,000, and you want to know somebody who's corrupt as hell? It's that Ron Rivera. I saw their operation ran in San Diego when they had LaDainian Tomlinson. He had to sit. He wasn't injured. He sat. LaDainian, you know they told you we're going to lose, and you know Phillip Rivers would go out there and throw an interception. That's when I started seeing that the NFL was a part of this show. The NBA's been a part of this show since the 90s with Magic Johnson. And you had that dude who used to own the, the, uh, the, the Clippers who hated him. Remember that dude? He was forced to sell him because he got all racist. He couldn't stop talking about Magic Johnson. They probably set you up, Magic, to give you the AIDS. And what do we got now? Monkeypox. Same scenario. See how history repeats itself? They're saying mostly gay men get it, just like they said about AIDS, just like they said about the monkey pox. And now we have, and who was ahead of all this? Fauci. Because it's the same game plan. And that's why it's so funny and so ironic and why I love the universe, because it links in funny ways the playbook. Coaches. Okay? Fauci, AIDS, NBA, NFL, and you're starting to see it all happen. Monkey pox. Mostly gay men get it. That's what they said. I don't know. But that's what I was watching today when the, when it went it flashed the news because I was watching the NHL finals and then it flashed the in the local news because it was on uh, ABC, NBC, or CBS. It was on one of those channels. I don't remember because I really don't give a damn. I just had to put it on because patrons wanted to watch it. But all I'm seeing is the connection to it all. And when you start to look at it, you're going to start to see it as well. And once you see it, you can't unsee it. It's like the Matrix. Now I look at the world as a matrix. Everything is a matrix, all right? We are in a matrix. The, the color for this hat is a certain color code that they'll have to put in a computer to print it. The printing on this hat was a certain code that they have to... Everything is a code. Everything. Right now, I'm sending you a code. I'm sending you a code that your computer will do. We are living in a matrix, one that they are trying to control, but it's falling apart, and I could see it now, and we are watching them unravel, and I told you we are in the unraveling, all right? And the NFL is a major, major player in this. And they can't stop unraveling. They go into practices forcing players to accept Jack Del Rio's. Jack Del Rio's true response to J6, January 6th, was recorded. And then his manufactured response 
was recorded. Just like Drew Brees, when he came out there and said, my family's patriots, this, this, and that. But then we saw that he was sold his soul. He sold himself. And then he came out with the Brianna Taylor and the Black Lives Matter because he sold himself. And guess what, Brees? You got dropped from your uh, ABC or NBC contract after one year because you was a sellout and your karma came. And we know you got millions of dollars, and that's why we don't understand. But that's the clear view that we needed to see that you were sold out and you don't care. You'll sit down like a little puppy dog when you're told and you'll come up like a puppy dog when you're told because you ain't nothing but a little puppy dog. And all you NFL players might be big and badass, but you're a bunch of sellouts. Let's see who can stand up like Des Bryant and call it out because one player I seen called it out was Des Bryant. And look how they treated him. Look how they did him dirty. So close to the Super Bowl, but they knew because they looked ahead that he would eventually speak. So they erased him. But I heard you, Dez, and let's hope some more players like him and Antonio Brown can get down with the club. Because I know Antonio Brown, I know you wanted to do it in Carolina, but you sat because you know the script in New York as they were playing the New York Jets and they were going to have another Tom Brady comeback. And who is the star child of them all? Tom Brady. And what has his wife said on record? She's a witch. And I'm sorry to talk about witches, goblins, demons, this and that. But we got to remember some of these people think they're witches because they just have the power. Because they know who's going to win the game. All right? I know it sounds insane, but once you can see it, you cannot see it. With that being said, we'll talk later, Holmes. Peace out.